Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today is Tuesday, July 12, 2022. I am Solid Blue Sister, and this is my turn to talk. get started before I get started uh Ba and I were actually just talking about you um if you could please reach out to us on friendly differences so we can have your contact information we actually would like for you to be on our show Saturday on Saturday um our our show on Saturday is going to be about disability and it's going to kind of pick up from what we were uh, talking about on my show last week but uh we would love 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 for you to be um on the show. Okay. And Bob, you see that she says, I'm going to email you to today. So we're going to hold you to it, hold you to it. So, all right. So we're going to get started and let me just make sure my phone is turned down. Okay. Okay. So today I want to talk about people don't know wasted time when it's happening. How much time have we wasted? We can't get back. And when I say you don't know is wasted time when it's when it's happening, some people and it's, and it's it's interesting because I'm a people watcher. Okay, when I'm out walking my dog, if I'm at the airport, if I'm at the market, if I'm just sitting in my car, and you know, um, if I'm sitting in my car and you know I have to make a phone call, um, uh, or if I'm about to get out of the car. And I just look up and I see someone or, or, you know, or, or some people, whatever. Um, a lot of people waste time. And, you know, at the same time, we can say, what is waste, wasted time? Is wasted time when you're not productive? Is wasted time when you're sitting on the sofa um, and just playing a, a video game? Some people may not see that as, as wasted time. Is wasted time when we're surfing the the internet? Um, is it while we're watching TV? You know, is it when you're just sitting in, in in your car? What is wasted time, and how much time have we wasted that we cannot get back? You know, so um, you know, and when I go back and I look at how much time. I have wasted. Um, there are some things that I've that I've done where, <laughs> oh boy, I have you know definitely wasted time. And I'm going to say this, and um, uh, I'm pretty sure Ba's ears are going to to prick when, when I say this. I find myself wasting time when I go round and round with people. <laughs> Whether it be a debate, an argument, whatever, and no one is budging. To me, that is a waste of time. <laughs> so, um, okay, and Crazy says, well, you can't get any of it back. You know, I mean, you you can't. You know, so 
so that's so that's what where, where I I want to start. What do you consider wasted time? And welcome. Let's see who just popped in. Welcome, Power Girl. So, um, uh, uh, hold on for a second. I'm sorry. I had to respond to a text. I apologize. That's unprofessional. Okay. Um. So. What is wasted time? And let's see. Um, let's see. I agree with you. Actually, you should listen to learn not to argue. And even, but crazy, even when you're listening to learn and you keep going round and round, that merry-go-round just keeps going on and on and on, and there's no off point. It's like, that's when I just have to, to jump off and risk breaking my leg because I can't stay on that merry-go-round anymore okay um gotta agree to, to disagree yes 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 but some people have a hard time with that but anyway that's that's another show <laughs> all right um i'm opening up a, a can of worms here so but anyway what what do you guys consider waste wasted time okay um because for me i think playing video games all day is a waste of time but there are some people who play video games and they make money you know um if you gamble is is that a waste of time is it a waste of time if you're making money while you are doing it um for instance uh people who who play poker you have people who are all, all all they do that's that's what their that's that that's what their job is is to to, to play pro poker some people make a lot of money doing it is that a a waste of time for some people it, it, it could be you know is sitting on on your front porch you know watching the, the the sunset is that a waste is that a waste waste of time so let's see um Crazy says it's a waste of time to be in school without a goal, in my opinion. Okay. All right. So when you say without a goal, now I'm assuming you're talking about higher learning. Here comes crazy. Welcome, welcome. I'm no thing. Is it working? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, it actually worked this time. How about that? <laughs> Um, before I, cause I was on lunch and I just came off lunch. So I'm about to see what kind of rec work is. So I just wanted to chime in on what I said, because that uh, that's triggered people in the past. They're like, what do you mean? You know, I'm going to school to blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. But what I'm saying is like, I told my son, okay, I didn't go to college. I went to a trade school, a technical trade school. Okay. And the reason I did that is because I knew I had started a career early on or something that I thought it was going to be my goal career. And then I switched gears sometime after that. And, and I so I went to a school specifically designed to give me the knowledge I needed to pursue that career. Right. I personally think that spending money, first of all, college is damn expensive to just be spending money on being in the dorm, going to classes, and you you don't know what your major is, you're not sure what you're going to do, you haven't had a career, or like you you haven't even really made a plan for it, because you let's say you spend two years, four years at a college, and then you're like, well, you know what, I really don't want to do that, but now you got to take another two years, because the goal you you finally figured out, or the career you finally decided that you wanted to chase, now requires other schooling so you just wasted four years without a plan and and for me that's a big deal like i i've but, had but, plenty but crazy, of friends say that okay but if you're 18 years old you're coming out of high school and you know for some people for some people not all some parents say you either go to school or you get a job all right so when you're 18 19 20 even 21 do you really know what you want to do i mean there's just so many things that are out well, there that you know you try this you try this well i want to go, go go to school for this but then for some people half halfway through they change their um major and they and they st and they study some some something else 
You know, okay. and, what's, so. and, and, the, and let me throw one more thing at you. Okay. So what <laughs> if you go to school and you want to be an attorney, okay? And you graduate, mm -hmm. you practice law for, I don't know how, how many years, but then you say, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I think I want to be a doctor. People have, have, have done that too. They have switched their, 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 their course. And as we all know, since, since COVID, everybody's become something in their basement. So. Okay. So that's three different scenarios. If you're, if you're young, right. And, and not every young person has a goal. You, you kind of, you, you should have a little bit of God, this is so tough because schools are actually, they're not geared towards that shit anymore. When I went to school, no. we had, we had, um, you know, mechanics and wood shop and like all these things that like you kind of got to test while you were in high school to see, you know, what you liked. For me, it was mechanics. I was set on a path to be a car mechanic. But here's the thing, like I, when I say it's a waste of time to go through like two or four, maybe not two years. And maybe it depends also on, okay, maybe your age, right? If you're younger, you, you could take that time and waste it. But what are you doing during that schooling? Are you literally just doing it to waste time? Or are you actually focusing on something or trying to get a goal? You see what I'm saying? Like, are you headed towards something? It's okay to change majors. It's not okay to go to four years and pay all that money. You wasted all that time. Unless that schooling also leads into whatever you picked next. I'm not... It, that's that's tough because there's a shit ton of variables, obviously, but um, I knew that was going to be a, a little bit of a trigger. Like, I'm not saying the schooling is a waste of time. However, the time you spent in the school and if you even if you just took a bunch of crap classes just to take crap classes and be in school for four years and then all of a sudden your major was one thing and, and then the major or then the goal that you pick after that has nothing to do with it. That means that nothing you just did is worth any, you you literally just wasted, that's a lot of time. Four years is a lot of time. I don't care if you're 18 or 35. Okay, well, let me throw this at, at you. Um, some cultures um, pretty much want to dictate to their children what they're going to go to school for. Mm -hmm. So let's say that um, your parents, you know, tell you you're going to be a doctor. You don't want to be a doctor. But that's what your parents tell you that you're going to do. So you you go to school, you become this doctor, you're not happy. Is that a waste of time? Um, I'm gonna say no. And the reason I'm gonna say that is because even if you didn't wanna follow that path, if you still succeeded in that path and you have the money and you have your life straight and you're stable and you have, cause maybe later on you change paths, but all the time that led up to that, you still had a foundation to change paths, right? Your parents set you down a, a, fail, a success path. You, you, you took that because out of respect for culture, whatever, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you still made a successful lifestyle until you decided you didn't want to do it anymore. I, I don't think that's a waste of time. You got your money. You might have benefits. You might have been able to help your parents. You help people or whatever it is, doctors, lawyers, whatever. You know what I mean? So you, you didn't waste your time. I mean, you still. Okay. I'm, I'm going to throw something else. Successful. At, at I don't know. I <laughs> I just want to read what Bob said. Bob says, hobbies can become a good source of income, and we also need hobbies as a way of distressing. And DMAC says, wasting time is what relative to the person. I thought that was interesting. Yep. And Bob, thank you for responding to uh, to crazy in email. And, oh, yeah, I sent an okay, email. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So let me ask this. Okay. So you've be, have become this doctor you um are successful um uh you may not be super rich but you have you know you're you're you know you're okay you know everything's fine but you really don't want to be this doctor you never did um mm -hmm. let's say you wanted to be an actor so you said okay i'm not going to be a doctor anymore i want to go be an actor or whatever whatever you want to do but 
things are not going as well as you would hope, but it's something that you're just going to keep plugging away at. You're going to keep, you've given yourself, okay, I'm going to give myself two years. If I don't make it within two years, then I'll go back to being a doctor. But in those two years, you are struggling, but you're happy at what you're doing. You know that you have to put in a lot of work, whatever. And, and again, I'm just using acting as, as I mean, it mm-hmm. could be anything. Okay. But, but, but you're happy. You're happy just plugging away. You know, uh, if you want to build houses, you know, you're going to that work site every day. You're not working all the time. But when you are working, you're happy. And every time you think about being that, that doctor again, where you were making money and you were successful at it, you get depressed. Are you wasting your time when you walked away trying to do what you, what you really want to do? And welcome, Juju. Um, I don't think so, because personally, I don't want to ever live a whole life of misery. Um, I do agree that if you have to do something to make sure that you're stable, to be able to pursue your dreams, beautiful. But if you are miserable doing that, that will always be a job for you. It will never be something that you're happy with. You'll always, you know, like you're always going to be like, damn, I wish I had the damn, I wish I had, you know, what if, or I could have whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I think someone getting something stable until they want to chase a dream that they had and and they know that they could possibly do it or just drop it. Even if you don't have means and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to chase my dream. I don't think so. Because if you had a purpose, you still had a purpose. You still did what you wanted to an extent. You really were using that original career to make sure you were stable. Maybe you stayed in it a little too long because you were afraid to, you know, take that leap of faith or whatever, or you couldn't financially, whatever the case may be, but you were still, it's not, that goes back to actually what, um, uh, now my brain stopped on me, what uh, DMAC said, that it's subjective, it's it's towards the person, does that person feel like that was a waste of time because they did that and they could have spent more time on this? But how do you know that? Because how, how do you know that if you didn't pursue that other thing that it would have failed miserably? And then what? You know, I mean, so I don't think anything that's successful that brings you stability in your life is a waste of time. Now, if it makes you miserable, you should obviously figure out how to to resolve that. But I don't think that it's a waste of time if it's stable and stuff. Now, if you if you're going down a path where you're constantly financially unstable, constantly mentally unstable, constantly this, that's a waste of time to chase something without a, a, some kind of foundation behind it or whatever, or, or support system or, or whatever it is, because you're going to keep spinning your wheels because you didn't have a goal or you didn't have a mindset to get like there wasn't a plan. So wasted, wasted time. When I heard that, when, when I heard you say that, I'm going to tell you that I was like that, that went all kinds of directions in my <laughs> life, in my head, because I, I feel like I've wasted a shit ton of times a time on a lot of stuff. And it has nothing to do with necessarily work, but just, just life in general. But that's why I said you can't get any of it back ever because you can't go back and undo something that's already done, period. You know, and, and I think, you know, through life, you know, we all waste waste time. And, and that's why, mm-hmm. you know, I wanted to know, you know, what do you consider wasted time you know like you you have some people who um who you know don't see their parents and you know someone may say well you need to you know see mom mom and dad you know because they're getting older and um you're not going to be able to get that time back if 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 you don't see them um you know um is that wasting time if you never went to see your parents and then they pass is that wasted time um i actually that happened to me um my uh i wasn't i was a single household single parent household was my dad right and we weren't best friends so i'm gonna tell you that i moved as far away from my (laughs) of my family as i possibly could so i lived always like two thousand miles from them and I would go see him whenever I could or whatever, but I didn't have the money to be going back and forth, you know? And unfortunately I didn't get to see him before he passed away because I got in a car wreck and that 
killed my plans to go see him and he passed away before I could get out of the, um, my problems recovering from the car accident and whatever, whatnot. And then I had to look back and think, how many times did I actually have that I could have been there and I wasn't there? But then I had to weigh in how many times did we talk? We talked on the phone often. We knew we, you know, we we weren't, like I said, we weren't like best friends. Love my dad. He loved me. Great support system, whatever. It wasn't always ideal. So I actually thought about that too, you know, as far as wasted time on seeing people when you have the opportunity, but what is an opportunity? I didn't have the money to go back and forth and people like, well, you could have lived closer. Well, I'm I'm a grown ass adult. I'm going to live where I want to live, regardless of where my parents live. And as long as I stay in touch, I feel like it's not really wasted time. Not saying that, you know, he also could have come to see me. Right. So, I mean, uh, no, you you know you 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 make you make a, a a good point because I moved two thousand miles away from from my parents and um you know uh when my father passed away um um I I I wish I had I mean I did go back and forth I did go home you know back and forth but when my father passed away I totally lost it I mean I totally me lost it you know um and um people have said. Um, what, what you just said, well, why did you move so far away from home? Uh, D, D Mag, I sent you the in, invite because, uh, you pop, you pop, popped up. Um, but you know, but, but people said the same thing, you know, why did you move, move so far away from home? And like you said, you know, <laughs> I'm a grown ass woman, I'm a grown you know, ass adult. Yeah. I can, you know, move wherever I want, you know, um, you know, but by me, you know, even if. I were still in the same city, there was still that possibility that, I mean, yeah, I, I would have had the opportunity to, 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 to see my parents more, um, especially my dad, you know, but at the same time, there's a big chance that when he passed away, I was not going to be there. You know, right. I mean, my, my, my sister, you know, she lived what, 20, 20 miles away. She was not there when he passed. So you know, um, exactly. My sister you know, too, actually, right. that's crazy. You know, so it's like, um, either way I would have lost it. I would have lost it. If I was 2000 miles away, I would have lost it. If I was two miles away. Exactly. Exactly. You know, you know, sure. so, you know, I, I, again, um, I do agree with what D D Max says. Wasted time is relative to the, to the person. person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so should our parents, tell us or should someone else someone else tell you or should we tell our kids you're wasting your time or you're wasting or so. you're wasting your your life i mean yeah if you're doing drugs and you're hanging out on on oh, the wow. and yeah well yes you know whatever but again i i go back to if your parent tells you either get a job or go to school and if you're 18, more than likely the job that you're going to get is not going to make you, you know, a hundred thousand dollars plus a, a year, you may sure. end up working in, 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 in Walmart or something. So then it's like, do you get stuck in those jobs because you get comf you, you, you get comfortable. So is that a waste of time? That's a really good question. Um, because I you know, know people. Who have, yeah. who, who have done that, who it was like their parents gave them th that alternative. They weren't sure what major they wanted, you know, um, but they ended up being stuck in these jobs. And they're, you know, for 10 years, it's like you're still there while everyone else has moved, moved, moved on. And they do that. I wish I would have, could have. But when you get these, all these, these ultimatums, either go to work, go to school or move out and you're 18, what do you do? Guess what? I'll tell you what I did because I had that ultimatum. Okay. I was, I was, I moved out of my house when I was 17, never went back. Okay. And I, of course I thought I knew everything and I did go to work for Walmart and fast food places and stuff like that. But you know what? I knew that that wasn't my ultimate goal. And listen, at 18 years old, your parents still should have guidance for you, but you still, cause like I started telling my son, listen, you're coming up on adulthood here, buddy. Like, I'm not going to tell you what to do. 
I'm going to tell you, I'm going to try to guide you in the right direction. It's up to you. So if, if you're 18, you go to work for Walmart and or any job, OK, that you consider a dead end. And I mean, dead end means that you're not moving up in the ranks. You're not trying to it's whatever. You're not trying to do whatever. When I worked for Walmart and Venture, I actually ended up being management in those places. So like that was my goal was to move up no matter what I was doing, because I knew that the next thing would be better. This is the experience. The next thing is going to be better. This is what I'm working towards. I can't do that right now. But as as an independent adult now, because now I'm 18, I have to do that myself. So if you waste time, if 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 you I'm just going to say if you waste time after 18 going bouncing job to job, dead end stuff and you get comfortable, that's because you got comfortable. And I and I said this to people and they hate it when I say that at some point you have to become the adult and be responsible for your own life path and choices. And it can't be based on you know, whether your parents, because at 18, your parents can say whatever they want. You're a damn adult. OK. And you need to start thinking along that path. They should have. Right. But if you're 18 and you just graduated from high school, it's not like you have. And I'm playing both sides here. It's not like you have the funds to go and get your own apartment and start paying utilities no, of course and not. rent, you know, whatever. So it's like, OK. Um, I'm not sure what I want want to do. Um, and then when and then for some parents, when they say either go to school or or get a job, they're not even helping you with school. So you're still having to hustle to figure out how you're going to pay, you know, for um for um for, for school. Well, so either way, you know, it, you're, you're still this 18 year old person who's never, you know, really been on their own. So, again, do you get stuck? Well, that's tough. The only reason that's tough for me to answer is because, look, I grew up really early in my home. I, I was driving by the time I was 11. OK, it was like, you yeah, understand my dad, three jobs, single parent. I was the only child. I was really just grown up way too early considering. So when I reached my level, I left my house because me and my dad were probably going to fist fight when I was 17. I was like, dude, I got to get out of here. Me and you are going to beat each other to death like one day because we just butted heads so much. We're exactly alike, you know, whatever. But I'm going to tell you that he had already given me the fundamental tools to be able to make life choices, to um, not make stupid decisions, stuff like that. And that, and so that, that also, and we'll go back to, I don't like to blame parents, okay? I don't ever, ever, ever put people's choices as an adult on a parent. But if if at 18 years old, like I was a hustler, that's what I did. I left and I never looked back and I figured out how to, to get what I wanted to get. So that's why it's tough to answer that question because what I did and what somebody, somebody else did my, in my exact same age is totally different. You know what I mean? Like a prime example, my neighbor across the street, they were a little kind of stuck up kind of family, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we were we were middle age, we were middle class, right? And they were like upper class. They had more money and they were, you know, they kind of looked down on people, whatever. And their son is the exact same age as me, born on the same day, same hospital, everything. It was kind of crazy. But um he ended up, you know, like I ended up God, this is so hard to explain. It, it's because it was two different dynamics. He wasn't ready to be on his own at 17. I was. So how do you how do you gauge wasted time based on someone's readiness to be an adult? Right. So and that's and that's and 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 that was my point. So if you're 18 years old and your parents give you, you know, those choices, either go to school, get a job or move out. You're 18. You're not used to doing all the adult things that, you know, come with getting a job and moving out. Yeah, but why so, not, though? Because I guess that seems really late for me for some that to me, that seems really late for a kid not to know how to get a job. Because and when my son came of age and I say of age to me was when he started being a teenager, I was like, look, man, you got to start learning how to do this stuff. You got to learn how to drive. You got to learn how because I wanted him to be pre prepared. Now, some kids don't have right. that no, no. availability. I, I, understand I understand that. But. I, and I understand the whole, you know, um, the whole 
uh, driving and, you know, you know, you have to make sure that you, you know, you, you teach them how to manage their, their money and, and, and Something. things like that. Yeah. But still, <laughs> when you are 18 years old and you, you know, you get out of school and your parents give you that ultimatum, every 18 year old mm. is not prepared oh, absolutely to go not. out on, on their own and again, like like you said, if you go to to school and you come out or you change up what you want to do and you spend four four years, you consider that a a waste of time. But at the partially, same time, yes. Okay, but at the same time, is it a waste of time if I don't go to school and I'm 18 and I'm like, oh shit, you know, my mother and father are telling me either to get a job or get out or, or, or go to school. I don't want to go to school. I'm just going to go down to my local market and I'm just going to get, uh, get this little job. And I'm only going to do it for like six months until I figure out next thing I know, five years later, I'm still working at this market. Did I waste my time yes and, and wait hold on and before i answer that i just want to re- re- I gotta, I'll read some of these comments <laughs> the dmac says if i stay stable my whole life and was never able to change i'm sorry to chase anything because i was caring for my caring for my sick mother was that time wasted and then you tell your kids about uh time wasting because you're trying to prevent them from making the time wasting mistakes that you that you did. Uh, oh, and Jester says hello, solid. Yeah, because I got him <laughs> yesterday. Okay, and um, uh, D Max says crazy town. Your level of, of maturity was higher than most. Also, many times females' maturity is higher than many males. Oh, sure. Uh, okay, so again, so let's go to what to what D Max says. He says if if I stay stable my whole life and was never able to chase anything because I was caring for my sick mother, was that time wasted? Do you consider that time wasted? I mean, I would ask the person because how, how could I answer that? I could never answer that question because I have never been in that position. I personally, if I had to be in that position, I would not consider that a waste of time because you were caring for somebody. That's something that you chose to do. You know what I mean? That is, that is something that you, whatever, I, I still, I, I have to back up just a little bit because I had a thought um, on what you had said about the 18-year-old with the school. I just want to point out, I'm going to go back to my original statement on that real quick. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, is if you're 18 and let's say you get that ultimatum and I'm going to, I'm going to throw out variables because they mess me up, you know that. So at 18, you either get a job, go to school, whatever it is, and you spend four years, okay? Let's just take four years as a, a thing, whether it's a job or school. In that four years, if you didn't at least do something to come to a next level goal, I don't care if it's in your job, some, you, could, you could work at a market, you could become the damn general manager of that place. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You're working towards something. If you spend four years in a dead end school because you can do that you can waste school mm-hmm. altogether you mm-hmm. can take stuff that makes no sense you can waste four years in the thing that's what i consider wasted time if you wasted time and just fluffing off for four years and then you're like oh well and now you got to take another four years of school you did you wasted time not even caring about leveling up do, does that make sense yeah yeah okay all right so that that's just on that but anyways i'm sorry so i had to get that out of my head <laughs> All right. Um, so, so let me ask this. I want to go back to DMAC and the whole family yeah. thing. Okay. So in some cultures, um, and even, you know, just in some families, um, some cultures say the older daughter, older son, whatever, they, they get married first, you know, um, mm-hmm. And they do have it where literally you could be in love with someone, someone can ask you to marry marry you. But if your older brother, older sister hasn't gotten married, then you aren't getting married. Okay. Oh, okay. And mm-hmm. There are some some people. Um, in fact, I know two two people like this where um they're they were the youngest in their family. And um the mother was very, very needy, very, very, oh, someone has to stay here with me, whatever. And the other siblings had gotten married, moved, moved, moved out, whatever, and started their own families. But they kept coming back to this, to these 
to the youngest people saying, well, you're the youngest and you aren't married, you know, so you should, you know, live, live with mom, blah, 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 blah. And one of the people that I know um, got into a knockdown drag out with their family member and with, with their mm. siblings, with their mother there, basically saying, I've wasted my entire time and or wasted my entire life so far taking care of you. It is your turn to ask, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so to help. And then, you know, basically told her other siblings, you all need to, to step out because she was step basically up. done. Is that, I mean, was that wasting time? I mean, if you're, even though it is your mother or your father or your grandmother, whatever, but basically you're being pushed to <coughs> take, take on a responsibility and you're not able to live your life. Is that wasting your time? Um. Okay, so that's a little tough. And I actually had that. Nearly everything you bring up, I could, I can, because I only really speak on experience, to be honest with you. I don't mm -hmm. go outside a realm of something I don't know or can't answer. Okay. But um, my grandma was, my grandmother was like that. My grandma was extremely needy. She used to keep me out of school all the time. And my dad would get mad as hell. Okay. Now she had five daughters. One of them was at her side all the time. The rest of them were just like, yeah, well, you're there. So I don't have to be kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And then like it, it, be, it became a knockdown, drag out, blow out and tempers got heated, stuff like that. How do you how do you even label that a waste of time other than it is selfish of your parents if if OK, and there's. There's so many variables and that's why I can't really like branch off. But you, you, my grandmother could take care of herself for the most part. She just didn't want to be alone. And that was really selfish of her. I felt like I love my grandma to death. Okay. I loved her to death. I was broken when she passed, but one of her daughters constantly had to be by her side because she would cry about, it. you know what I mean? And then when her daughter was there, she would cry about all the other ones not being there. So you're not even giving the person that's there with you the thankfulness, the gratefulness, the the compassion. You know what I'm saying? You're basically, and if they're not there, when they come back, you're bitching at them about the time that they're not there instead of enjoying the time that they are there. So I do consider that a waste of time. You, If every time I see you, you're, I've had friends like this. Every time I see you, you're crying because you don't see me often, but you already knew I was like that. And I don't have to be here because we're all adults. I'm not going to keep coming seeing you if every time I see you or we talk, it's always a problem. Okay. But are you saying that it's not a waste of time because it is a family member? No, it's not a waste of time. And no, it is a waste of time to, that's a vicious cycle and that's selfishness and that's somebody just being needy, not wanting to be alone. And they're not going to let you live the life that you want to live. How, but how do you consider that a waste of time? Like how, how would you, um, how would, if man, that's, that's so tough. Like, because I'm not a, I'm not a, because it's family, it's right person. I don't believe that if you're toxic, you're toxic to me and I don't care and I'll cut you off family or not. But, um, I think the wasted time part in that for me is, is the wasted arguments, the constant bickering. You're mad because I'm not here, but when I'm here, you're not even happy. That's but, a waste okay, of time. But, okay. But take, okay. But take away the arguing and what have you. I'm specifically saying if you're constantly calling me or if I want to move out of, out of the house or I want to move out of state or I want to take this job, but you mm -hmm. are trying to guilt trip trip me. And again, every, and even if let's take the siblings out, let's say, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's just you, but you're trying to guilt trip me. And again, I have a life to lead. So if you live for the next 40 years and you want me to be around you for the next 40 years, <laughs> taking care of me, I mean, cause this, has happened. I know, you know. I know. Where people have literally, you know, it's like you wake up and you're 70 and you're like, well, 
damn, you know, I, you know, you're looking back at your yearbook and you had a crush on so-and-so and they asked you to, to, to marry them and, and move away. But your mother or your father or whomever was like, oh no, I, I need, I need well, Whose fault is that? It is your fault. But at the same time, can I say that I wasted 20, 30, sure. even, if, even if it was a year, I wasted time on you because that is time I cannot get back. And even though it sounds harsh because you are it's talking true, about a family member, so what? I mean, I wasted my time taking care of you when I could have been doing something else. Welcome, it, Crucible. So in that con- in that case, yes. But you have to take responsibility for that wasted time because you wasted your own time because I've had family like that. And I had to, you know, well, not me. And I'm really, I'm not, I'm not hard. I don't have a problem saying no. I'm just going to tell you, I'll, I don't have a problem being harsh, blunt, straight to the point, whatever, none of that. So I've never, I've, I've seen it happen to other people. And, and yes, that can be a waste of time, right? Because you wasted all those years probably on someone it's more of a waste of time for me what i'm saying is is if they're ungrateful about it now if you wanted to do that if that's what you set out in your life to do okay fine you wanted to take care of your whoever best friend mother husband whoever doesn't matter and you don't consider that a waste of time hey so be it maybe they weren't self may all that other stuff so be it but that's where you go back to what dmax said it's on the individual at that point that is a that's a loaded question because um, depending on the situation and the person, because some people will tell you, I know some people that take care of people all the time, their people, their family, stuff like that. And they're just like, yeah, I'm fine with it. I didn't waste no, I still do what I want to do. I still take care of them. I still do what I want to do. So they don't consider that a waste of time, but they also didn't let it waste their time. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. 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 You know, but, and one thing that I, I will say crazy, I am with you. I do not have a problem saying no, because when you, <laughs> when you become one of those people who, you know, don't want to say no, and you know, you don't want to hurt someone's feelings and stuff, they take advantage of you. Then all of a sudden, you know, you get pissed off if they did something. It's like, if mm-hmm. I have no problem saying no, and I have no problem <laughs> hearing the word no, because it's only yep, a too. word. And if you can't sure. deal with it, that's on you, you know. But, um, you know, I mean, because when, I mean, because again, we've all wasted time. We've all, in mm-hmm. some part in our life, whatever, we have waste, we have wasted time and it's not time that we can can get back. And, um, Mm -hmm. you know, even if it's something, you know, you know, you, your kid wanted you to to do something with them and you said, okay, give, give me an hour. And, you know, within that hour, you know, you didn't do what you were supposed to do. And then they went to sleep or whatever. That's time that you can't (laughs) get back, you know, Mm -hmm. you know, um, um, that I, I did that to my son, you know, um, um, and I learned from it because I saw the look on his face when I didn't do it and how hurt he was. And and when I, and it was something so simple where I could have just literally just stopped doing what I was doing, you know, um, mm-hmm. um, you know, but, you know, and in jobs and stuff, you know, you have, you have wasted your time, but is it ever anyone's fault? Can you ever get to the point where you can blame someone if, if they waste if, your time, if, if they waste your time, can you ever get to that point? I mean, is it always on you or can you ever get to the point where you can say you wasted my time? Well, I I already answered that, um, but I'm going to repeat what I said because I don't it wasn't that question because that's a really great question, by the way. You can. First of all, nobody can do anything to you that you don't let them do. Right. OK. Mm-hmm. And I believe that. I thoroughly believe that. But if I thought you had genuine intentions and I took my time to help you with whatever your genuine intentions were, and then I find out it was bullshit, you wasted my time. Okay. Okay. That was said a little venomous because people do that to me often and it makes me really angry. Okay. All right. That's a, uh, that is a, a very, uh, a very good point. Very, very good point. 
Okay, let me look. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, D, D Mac. Uh, Coda is a movie that I do want to see. It's definitely on on my must uh, see list. Uh, and then D Mac also says, "Only can blame yourself because you are in charge of your time." Mm -hmm. Okay, so then, even though someone you found out that it was was what was bullshit, is it really their fault or like? Yeah, it's still said? their fault. Even though you're in charge of your time? Yeah, but you made a decision to give your time to somebody. I, I'm 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 taking time out of my day because you told me this shit was important, right? You told me that this was detrimental or whatever it is. Because when I'm gonna tell you if I'm about to hand my time to somebody, you better have a damn good reason because I'm busy. I'm busy all the time. I'm always doing something. Okay. And like so like if that's where I'm still going to take the accountability, right? That I believe my accountability on that is not for wasted time. My accountability on that is trusting that you would not waste my time. That means that you're never, ever going to be able to be trusted again. The next time you tell me that's like the boy that cried wolf, right? The next time you tell me something, now you're going to almost have to have a business case even to get my time. So I'm not going to waste my time again. So that's a lesson learned. But that person did waste your time because you wasted my time and my trusting and everything else that it was that whatever it was that I now took time out of my day to do. And you were ungrateful or took my kindness for weakness because my kindness, people taking my kindness for weakness is not the last thing someone's going to remember if they do that. That's not what they're going to remember about me. So that's why I'm saying like, that's when you could go to the other person and be like, yeah, you wasted my time. And that's the truth. I let you, but you definitely wasted my time. Okay. But so, then you don't let them again, right? You just, well, uh, my bad. So let me ask this. Do you think, or I'll pull out this. Why do you think there are some people who, uh, hold on before I ask this question. Let me read what DMAX says. Uh, the positive intent comment does play a factor. I know that if, if I tune into your show. It's not going to be, <laughs> it's not going to be loaded with people <laughs> who are start raving mad. Thank you, oh. DMAC. Even though we've, we've had a couple of people who are start raving mad. It happens. Me. You're human. You we know, get emotions. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, so dang, I forgot what I was about to say. Um, mm. Oh, okay. So why do you think there are some people who literally purposely set out to waste other people's time they know damn because they're miserable well. okay all right misery is loves because, company and and no no pun intended is it because they have too much time on on on, on their hands yep. and they don't know what yep. to do a lot of times it is because I, for my i'll use myself in this, as an example i am really bad with idle time idle tan idle hands make bad decisions and i i've always said this like i am i'm <laughs> I'm not, I don't look for trouble or anything. Like it's not that, that kind of thing. When I was younger, maybe just, you know, to get into some shit or whatever, you know what I mean? But, um, people that it's without shaming anybody, right. For not having hobbies or whatever, you know, I've tried to take on a shit ton of them and I've, I've quit them all. But, um, if you have too much time on your hands and you feel the need to waste somebody else's time, you're a miserable person. Like you, you, you see me doing good, but you're going to come over here and waste my time. Come on. Come on. Really? I, I'm not the person to do that kind of shit to you because that's just, you know, but some people feed on that and they're going to leech on to somebody that they can waste their time with them. Hey, if I'm going to be miserable and waste my time, I'm going to take you down that same road with me. And guess whose fault that is? It's not theirs. It's the person who followed them down that path because you can't tell me you don't know when someone's wasting your time. So, so if you have a hobby, um, do you think it's, it's better to have a hobby, even though you may not really be into that hobby as opposed to just doing nothing? Um, I mean, is, no. is that, is that a, a waste of, of time? Yes. Um, I think anything that makes you miserable that you don't like that you have to force yourself to do is a waste of time okay. because, and that's, I'm speaking again, just on my own what my opinions are and how I see the way that I handle my time, because I haven't always handled my time properly. I've wasted a lot of time doing a lot of stupid, stupid things. 
You know what I mean? But then sometimes I also look back on that stuff and think, was it some of it? Some of it, you know, yes, there's wasted time. Things that, you know, the consequences of my actions wasted my time, stuff like that. So like, that's why that that particular that's a really loaded. That's why I always like your shows because your your questions are super loaded because you just like <laughs> it's mean, perfect no, for me. No, well, I mean, because I I just like to know what people think, and I know, and I and and I try, I try. I don't always succeed. I try to play both sides, you know, because you know there are two sides to to everything. You know, and I just like to hear, you know, what people have to say and crazy when I throw stuff out, you you throw it back and 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 D Max, I've been been paying attention to to what he's saying. And, you know, I mean, you know, everybody always has something to say, you know. So um thank you. Yeah, no, I mean I think it's it's wonderful. I like that you can well, I don't always get to uh express everything because I I think a lot of people think that my way I think is a little too harsh. And, you know, I, I mean, cause I, I spent, let's put it this way. I spent a lot of wasted time learning not to waste my time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and, and I was and a DJ. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. D Max says, I don't think, all people want to waste others' time. They think their opinions are so right that they have to con convince you because sure. they can't be wrong. I'm laughing. I'm laughing at, at, at that. I I am. I'm 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 laughing at. At, at, at that because um there are two people in this room right now who always try to convince me <laughs> you know? and it's like you go back and forth and it's like I'm not being convinced and that's like just a waste of my time you know mm -hmm. but you know but but again you know when you when you said that um that you know some people think that you're harsh and I have I've been told that a lot you know you come off harsh whatever and it's not so much that I mean to come off harsh, but, you know, it's also, it's like, you ask me a question and usually I tell people up, up front, this is how I am, <laughs> me too. you know, so I'm telling you. So if you get upset with me down the road, because I come up, Your come up across too harsh, that's, you know, right. It becomes my fault, but I told you, you know, and no, and, it's their fault because I warned you. I warned right, you. Right, right. So, so it's like, and, and that's why, you know, to me, I do see it as a waste of time for me to have to, you know, okay, whatever. I'm going to tell you this is bump, 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 bump. You know, do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. No. Would you like to do this? Yes. You know, I don't, I don't like, you know. I'm a matter of fact person. Very yes, matter of fact. Yes. You know, and to me, when, to, for me, it's a waste of my time if I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and my patience, you know, because, because literally sometimes <laughs> when, when I'm talking to people, it's like, you know, I, I get to the point where, you know, how in, in Charlie Brown, where, where the uh, adults were always like, womp, womp, womp. That's what I start to hear. <laughs> and uh, no, I'm being totally serious. And, I'm and just laughing because I know. <laughs> no, because, and sometimes I can literally be looking at, at you and we're going through this thing and I am literally thinking about something else. Like, okay, I need to call this person. I need to do this and I need to do that. And then when I literally see your mouth not moving anymore, then I'll go, uh-huh. Or, okay. You know, whatever, because it's like I've 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 checked out because it's wasting my time being some, you know, being in a situation where, you know, where I'm where I'm going to go or where I'm not going going to go. And I and, and again, that sounds harsh, but. I told no, you, but how, we can agree like, to how disagree. Many you have to re how many times do you have to repeat stuff? Because that's right. again, that's a waste of time for me. For me. I agree with that. I agree with that. And I would take the I would say that it was me wasting time making the argument, even though I've already put my foot down. I, if I um I'll stop talking. I ain't I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll stop talking. If if I can't if you can't have uh, I'll talk to anybody about that means that 
I'm listening to not respond to you, but I'm listening to absorb whatever you're taking. Because, like, I don't agree with everybody that's been. Okay, you are breaking up crazy. You're breaking up. Okay, while well, Crazy's getting her, her, her mic together, uh, I'm just going to read what uh, Juju says. Uh, Juju says, a hobby is an activity that you enjoy doing when you have personal time. A passion is a goal or activity that motivates you. Interesting. Okay. And DMAC says, people really want your answer, but they just want to hear it a bit, a bit softer. A bit softer or, or a bit less... Oh, Less, less harsh. Direct. I'm assuming that, <laughs> you know, but you know what though? Um, you know, sorry. Uh, and Ba is, is laughing because he says, um, I make that sound effect all the time. And I think of the teacher in, in Charlie Brown. Yes. I mean, it's like that wonk, 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 you know? So, um, uh, okay. So I don't know if it's fixed or not, but yes, can yes, you hear me yes, now? Okay. Yes, it is. Yes. So what I, I don't remember, I think what I was saying was, is that I will stop talking. Because the, right there, and you're right, and I agree with you 100% that having an argument without a resolution between the two is a waste of time. And if I have to keep going in circles with you, I, first of all, I'm not going to. I might want just to, to see where it goes, like if I can even pull you out of it. But at some, some point, I'll be like, hey, yeah, we're, we're done talking because you're not listening to me to listen to absorb to talk to me you are listening to see what you're gonna say next and you already think you're right that, regardless that, of what i say but that goes both both ways because both mm -hmm. people can think can think that they're they're right my point is sure. is if no one is budging or you see that the other person is not budging let it go because at exactly. that point and 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 when i say i'm i'm done or I stop <laughs> talking, or I leave the room, or I'm just not saying anything. And people may take that as, oh, well, you know, you're That's wrong. rude. You know, <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, you just don't want to admit it. No, I'm tired of talking about it. And I'm done. I'm wasting my time talking yeah. to you. You know, and we're, when I could, you know, we, we could be talking about something else. You know, or we could be, you know, or I, or I could be, be doing, you know, you know, something else. Um, I'm just looking at Bob, you know, but. Well, you know, yeah, but, if you try to change the subject and they keep bringing it back to the same yes, shit, I'm going to yes, be like, yes. yo, why, yes, why? You know, why? <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know, so, so again, you know, like D Max says, is wasted time relative to the person. And if yeah. I am with someone who. And let's not even say that we're going back, back and forth. Let's, let's just say that I could be out with someone and they could be bored shitless. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? Let's just leave because if you're not having a good time or I don't want to hear you moan and groan and sigh and whatever yeah. and, 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 and vice versa. You know, you shouldn't yeah. have to, you know, you know, look, look, look at me and see I'm not having a, good time because if i'm with someone or with a group of people and they're not having fun or they're not whatever you know what this is a waste of my time because i'm with a group of people who just are not feeling it yep i agree that's a waste of time it is i mean it is i don't want to be at a place that i'm miserable at i i'm one of those i'm telling you i'm a, <laughs> i i have a very small circle because just a lot of people just don't I'm not a people pleaser. I don't even like people, to be honest, that much. So, like, if I'm miserable, I'm out. And But I'm so dry. I'm like, look, man, you're having a good time. Shit, you stay. You're not wasting your time, but I'm wasting my time. I'm going to go do something I want to do. We can meet up later. But, you know, instead of taking that, like, perfect, that's beautiful communication, they're like, oh, okay, you just want to dip on me because of what? Look, I just don't want to sit here and be miserable and waste my time being miserable as something that I'm not enjoying. I got to... Because I'm now wasting my time by giving my time to you. And I'm not blaming them because if I, I choose to stay, that was me, right? Not them. Because they could try to guilt trip me all day. I, guilt, guilt, doesn't, guilt trips don't work on me very well. So Guilt trips do not work on, no. on, 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 me, on me either. Not at all. Not at all. So let me ask this because Boss says unresolved issues. <laughs> okay, so... 
if you have <laughs> unresolved issues and unresolved issues, that's kind of loaded, Bob, because unresolved issues could be a lot of different things. But if you have unresolved issues, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can phrase this. Uh, because again, unresolved issues can be from relationships to, you know, a disagreement to an argument to whatever. Um, uh, what if it's unresolved for you, but it's not unresolved for the other person? What, you know, so. Ooh, that's a good question. So it's like, if it's unresolved for you, isn't that on you? So if, you know, why should I spend my time satisfying you, making you feel good? Because, you know, if it's un, un, unresolved and the other person's fine, whose fault is that? You know, is it, am I supposed to waste my time trying to coddle you? Or, you know, I mean... So you're like saying like if you came to an impasse, what I would call an impasse, and the other person still doesn't like the way it ended, but you're cool with the way it ended, whose responsibility or is there a responsibility from one party to the other or the other to resolve that issue? And my answer to that would be if that person, if... um. Damn these loaded questions. If <laughs> if, if he was if, the one that brought if, it up. <laughs> I know it like okay, let's say you're the one with the unresolved issues, the other person's like, "Well, I don't know what the problem is. I'm okay." It it be uh, if you care enough about that conversation and that person and maybe talking to that person again, I'm not saying agree with them. I'm not saying have another conversation. I'm not saying go back to the same conversations when I say this, okay? What I'm saying is, is validate their feelings. Let them know that you understand what they're upset about, but it's not going to change because we're going to have to agree to disagree. I'm going to validate. I understand you're but upset. You have, okay, but, okay, but, okay. So Bob, so Bob says, like when you silence a conversation or walk away, not you, but you know, Mary, Mary go around and hold on. I just want to say what, what DMAX says, crazy, but what if you do something that you're not enjoying and it's something that your son really wants you to do? Ooh, I like how you're choosing that side. <laughs> I hope. I, I don't also, know if he's talking to me I or you, but you also flip it. Uh, agree to dis disagree doesn't sit. Okay, so and 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 Bob says agree to disagree doesn't sit well with me on some issues. I admit that. Okay, so crazy. I understand what you're saying about about validate, but now it sounds like okay. So okay, uh, crazy. I understand that we. <laughs> I understand your feelings. I I totally understand your feelings, but. You know, I just don't, you know, I'm sorry, but you, 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 what's the purpose of trying to, to validate if you spent all this time trying to validate? And, no, I mean, just know, the feelings, I, just be, just even, acknowledge okay, that they're but upset. Even, but, 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 even, but even so, if, if, if a person cannot get to, okay, for instance, what, what, what boss says, agree to disagree doesn't sit with me on, 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 on some issues. Okay. But if you have some issues where the person is not agreeing with you and that person's not budging or or you are not uh you know agreeing with 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 you and you are not budging i mean then you have i'm to done agree. with it right this is what i'm saying so what are you gonna do i mean for the next 20 years are we gonna no. continue to talk about this the the, 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 the the same thing and then when people say okay if we cannot uh agree i will drop it but then, but then they keep bringing it up <laughs> you know so so okay you know, so what i get you, that i understand that right is it, so okay is it wasting time i mean and, yes. and me and me validating you why i mean i'm wasting my tr time trying to validate no. something that i don't believe and just because your feelings come on what about my feelings See, hold on hold on hold on see Hold on, Solid. So that's why I tried to preface what I said with, because I knew that was going to be taken improperly. <laughs> this is this is the only thing I mean by that, okay? And I don't mean over and over and over again. I don't, because trust me when I tell you, I do not and will not do that. What I'll tell somebody is, look, not regardless of the subject, okay? Just 
totally general, what I would say is, listen, I understand that you feel a certain type of way about certain things. I do not. That is not going to change. This is the last that for me, that's what I would say. I understand that that's a problem for you. It's not a problem for me. This is the last time I'm going to address it. Please respect that because honestly, regardless, and I, I'm, I'm, I love that people are self-aware because I'm truly, truly self-aware of my toxic shit, okay? And I do have toxic shit. But I have to take that as accountability on your part. Just because you're not okay with something that's being said and you can't get past whatever it is, that doesn't make it the other person's responsibility to keep telling you the same thing over and over again. You have to agree to disagree with people. You cannot make someone else's mind up. If you're listening, you should be listening with in, with understanding that that is all an opinion of another person and you can't always change that. So you need to accept things that you cannot change all the time. That is something if I had that problem, I would internalize that and figure out how I can work on that internally. So when I said that validate a feeling, I don't mean the subject, nothing to do with the subject that you were arguing about or whatever it is. Just tell them, look, like you said, why keep coming back to it? Because it is wasting my time and I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to tell you once and I'm going to put my foot down. And if you have a problem with it beyond that, that now is a you problem. That is not a me problem. Okay. So I'm just going to read what boss says. It's not about uh, 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 agreeables since it's, it's getting to the right answer. Um, ha ha crazies in, in, in the middle. <laughs> oh, Sorry, crazy. And D says, uh, then you guys are carrying a grudge with, with, with each other. I just uh, uh, agree with that. D D Mac. Um, if I, if I am, if I can't get to where you want me to be, or I know I'm never going to get to, 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 to be there. That's not a grudge. I just disagree. Um, uh, D Max and, and uh, Boss says no grudge is a friendly difference. Um, uh, thank you, Juju. Please, yes, please hit hit the like button and, and follow if you're not already. Uh, Boss says things like I hate things like I hate strawberries. They are the worst fruit on the planet. I can accept an opinion, but more serious issues I can't. Okay, uh, D Max says Ba uh, is hypothetical to me. I don't. I'm, oh, I, I'm she don't know saying, your history. I don't, I don't know your sister, your history yeah. with Salibu's sister. Okay. Uh, I don't consider you, I don't consider what you said a, a okay, crazy is, is t- telling me, I don't consider what, what you said a, 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 a waste of time. And it no, it, it, isn't, it isn't, you know, my relationship with, with uh, Ba. I mean, Ba and I, we, we disagree a lot on, on a lot of, of different things, but this is, this is just me just throughout my life, you know, and if, and for me personally, if I will not, and I don't like it when people try to take me there on what I call mm-hmm. a merry-go-round, when I'm not, you know, it, it just never stops. And it's a waste of my time. And you would think that at some point it would be a waste of their time. So if you're not agreeing with me or i'm you know, or, or 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 vice versa that's on you because i'm fine you know i'm i'm able to say you know what i'm cool uh you know agree to disagree some people don't like that but that's not my problem that's yours yeah because, that's a huge problem i'll end, be honest because at the end of the day while you're still you know sitting there going well damn you know solid didn't you know she she won't come over to my side or, or crazy won't won't do this whatever <laughs> i'm off doing something else i'm you know i have forgotten a, a, about it and i am off doing something else whatever while you're still sitting there going you know well next mm-hmm. time when 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 i bring it up whatever and i'm like you know it's done you know so that's what i consider a a waste of 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 of, of time and you know, um, and that's time that I can't get back. And I don't want to sit here and continue to argue or or go back and forth with something that if you have an issue with it, that's on you. You know, just like if if I have an an issue with something or something, you know, doesn't, as as Bob says, doesn't sit right with me, whatever, 
that's that's on me you know um i'm the one if i'm feeling a, a, a certain way those are my feelings yeah you know right. so i i, 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 I i'm not going to pro project my feelings on you you know so if you get all into your feelings and your feelings get hurt whatever that's <laughs> on you hell my, my my feelings get get hurt a lot you know but i don't go projecting them on 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 other people because that's not right you know so but that's just me and it's a waste of my freaking time so um so i i guess you know it, it comes back to you know what d max says that um wasted time is relative to the person to the person mm -hmm. The situation and the people involved. I mean, because like I'm with you, like I'm OK with everybody having an opinion. Everybody is supposed to have an opinion. If we all thought the same, this shit would be hella boring. OK, and we're supposed to debate and we're supposed to try to better ourselves. We're supposed to try to better our, you know, our, our thought processes and learn things and teach each other things. But that doesn't mean that everything you say is right and everything I say is wrong or vice versa. And one of the biggest things like. I mean, I, I dealt with a pretty giant ego in my in my twenties. I wasn't stupid, but I was ego, a little egotistical, you know. And I, I thought I knew a lot more shit than I did. But the more you the more you know, you find out the less you actually know. The the smarter you get, you find out the less you actually as as time goes. Man, I really you know I thought I knew, but I really don't know, you know. And, and so that becomes the accountability part. Like if he 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 says. Um, you know you're that way he knows he's that way guess what you guys are you're this you're this now you have to agree to be different and it's okay your belief system is not my belief system my life is my life your life is your life my opinion is my opinion and we should all be able to discuss that and and be open to listening to learn but that doesn't mean that you can't keep bringing the same shit up if that's that's a sticking point you because that actually leads back to unresolved issues but for the person that it's unresolved for and now you need to figure out how to get past that because we're not going to change now the what on the other hand what will happen is i have i have a friend like this okay and i i absolutely do and my friend will try to pull other people when other people are around they'll be like so i was talking to so and so about this and their opinion is this what do you think so then they try to get me into that same situation through a third party and i'm i'm telling you right now i'm out bye we've already why are you trying you can you and them can have that conversation i'm out of here because you have something that's unresolved and you're not going to make me miserable and i'm not wasting another second talking about something that you already know how i feel about that and it's my business so crazy let let me ask this do you think that um and this is you know again i know it depends upon the person <laughs> um, do you think as you age, you waste more time or do you think you waste more time when 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 you're younger? Personally, I wasted a hell of a lot more time when I was younger um, because. I and I man, I look back on this and I, I always think I wish I hadn't because I only really got stable in my life for real, for real. Ten years ago, ten years ago, I made a change that changed nearly my whole life um and but prior to that i wasted so much time knowing stuff and of uh, and not just not applying that to my life right knowing better and not doing it so i wasted a lot of time getting to a point that i got to 10 years ago because i could have been at that point earlier i had opportunities to be at that point earlier i just was like eh, i'll, I'll do it later or it'll be there when I come back to it or whatever. I took a lot of shit for granted and I wasted a lot of time when I was younger. So personally, in my opinion, I think you waste more time when you're younger unless you had a proper goal and you already you went into that goal, right? How we talked earlier, the very here's the variable. You went into that goal at 18, you started schooling, you went to school for a doctor, you had to do that for 10 years, you go and you do all that stuff, and then now you're 40, you're a doctor, but now you're going to waste all that you, you you're done with that. You've had enough of it. That's the only time I think it would be the opposite direction is what I'm trying to say is if you had a, you, I don't know, married early out of the high school, you've got a job early out of high school and now you want to piss your time away at, at a later age. 
Otherwise, personally, I think a lot of people waste a lot of time when they're younger trying to figure things out, but some of it is actually wasted time. It's not always learning time. People always try to say that, well, I was just learning through all that. Nah, you were wasting a lot of time. Me, personally, I did. So I, let, 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 let me ask this. Going back to our conversation from yesterday and um, what Bob was saying, you know, about marriage, um, you know, that you're in it for the long haul. Um, do you think that if you're married to someone and whether it be an arranged marriage or for whatever reason you fall out of love with this person or you're just not into this person or um, like we were talking about yesterday about if you're not intimate, you know, for whatever, you don't want to be intimate with this person anymore. And you, you know, you, you, you just don't want to be in this marriage, but you took that oath. You're in it for the, for the long haul. And no matter how much you talk about it, whatever, it's just not getting better. Is it a waste of time to stay in that marriage? Yes. For me, it absolutely would be. You know why? Because if you're miserable in something, you're going to make someone else miserable. You're just, you cannot be miserable and fake happiness your whole life. If you, if you do that, I've, I've done this. I've been in that situation where I was miserable and I faked it, you know, and it just, I think I told you guys yesterday that I got, you know, I, I basically got old before my time because I, I did that, you know, I fell into a deep hole. My dad died, blah, blah, blah. Our relationship ended a 10 year relationship where I spent a lot of wasted time that I can't get back. That should have never been wasted for that. It should have been over a long time before that. I wasted a lot of time, you know, and like, I, it wasn't a marriage. I've never been married or anything like that. But I just don't feel like if you guys can't work it out, if you absolutely cannot work it out, why waste the rest of the years being miserable? Because that's kind of selfish, too, isn't it? To want someone else to be miserable because you made a, an oath on a piece of paper. I'm, there's a there's a sanctity that you should you should hold. If it's good, if it's that's what you want, that's your marriage, that's your partner, then you should hold that sanctity. But if you cannot, that's just like a job, toxic anything. It's a toxic relationship. It makes your mental health, it makes you decline. You're miserable. You can't. Why? Why? Because you are you can't tell me that the other person isn't miserable, too. That's that's nearly impossible for one person to be happy and one person to absolutely hate it. You know what I mean? So I. I I'm out. And and you got to be able to say those things. You got to be able to be uncomfortable, say the things that make you uncomfortable and stop trying to be, stop being miserable. I I, mean, I fight this all the time. I, I, I have, man, if you, if you only knew like where a lot of this comes from is just things that, you know, I, I worked out for myself. That's why I say I always use myself in, as an example, you know, like there's no way. That's why I will never get married. I don't want to be put in the predicament. Why? Because who knows? Who knows what's going to happen later on? And you don't have to be mortal enemies to break up either. They're like, well, you go until you hate the person. No, oh, you true, don't have true. to do that. You know, you could amicably split, amicably split ways because you have open communication with somebody. If you're married to a person, you definitely should have that anyways. And if you can't talk to that person, then, I, you know, I, I also can't be in a situation like that personally. So I just, I don't see why, why would you do that? To me, that'd be a waste of my time with spending all my years being miserable or going outside the marriage, which would totally make me feel like shit because that's, a, that's a, I made an oath to somebody. I, I would much rather tell them, listen, I need to break. And we need to split because I'm not doing you any good and I'm not doing me any good. That, okay. You're not blaming them. Okay, right? but let me let let me go back to, to yesterday's show and uh Bye may seem like I'm picking on you, but I'm not. I'm just pulling out <laughs> part, I'm pulling out parts of his of, 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 of what he said. He because Ma also said, you know, that you know, if you had kids and if you were to get di di divorced, what it would do to to the kids. Okay. But once again, is it wasting your but is it still wasting your time being in a marriage that 
you're not happy in. And if you're not happy, then that means more than likely you can fake it around your your kids. But if you know your kids see you, they know day, that shit. Right. This is what I'm saying. Kids, I mean kids know. So now they're miserable. Okay, here comes Bob. <laughs> you know? Okay, and I'll just before he goes on, I'll just say to this to that. I'm just gonna give my opinion on this just really quickly, okay? Okay. When me now me and my son's father were not married, but we were together for eight years, and that's a significant amount of time. Okay. And the reason I split that was because my son stood in between us and physically separated us and was like, please stop fighting. And this boy is four and a half years old, and I was like, no way. No way can I let him go through. And if even if I had been married to this man, I still would have left him because that relationship was not sustainable and my son would have been affected. My son is 21 now and his dad has a, a wonderful, he has a wonderful stepmom or whatever you want to call her and, and all that other stuff. And he, he's, he's good. He's solid, but I can only imagine what it would have done to him had we stayed there and, and been like that. I couldn't fake being but that's also re relative to the person that's going back relative to the person, right? I couldn't fake it. I couldn't be miserable and fake happiness even for my son, because you know what my focus was on the toxic relationship. You know what I mean? That's what, that's where my mind, he was messing with my mental health. So my, my parenting ability, not necessarily affected because I still took care of my son, but he could tell that I was miserable regardless of how much I laughed with him, regardless of how much I played with him. So I'm just saying that, Every situation is different, okay? Some parents are able to stay together. I've seen it happen. Stay together, be amicable for the kids, and the kids turned out great. I've also seen it the other way around, where I had friends that were like, man, I know my parents hate each other. I don't understand why they stay together. It's ridiculous. And now you're teaching them to stay in an intoxic environment, too, just because they have this other responsibility. So they're so, that's such a loaded question too. But me personally, I would not do it just for the kid. You can't, I don't believe in all cases that you can stay in a relationship for just because you made an oath or just because you have children. And that's just because I've seen the variables and I've also lived part of them. And my dad and my mom, my mom, dad got divorced and, you know, and look at me. I mean, I'm an angel. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, Bob, before I pass the mic on to you, I just want to say uh, to Frankie, thank you very much for the gifts. And uh, crazy. Uh, Frankie sent a gift to you, too. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So, uh, OK, Bob, you have the mic. <laughs> uh, so, so. Uh, it's funny because just before your show began tonight, I shared a video on our TikTok. I'd, I'd done a duet with uh, this great analogy of uh, this guy talking about um, handing people a glass of water but smearing some dog feces in the water. And the analogy was based on, would you drink it? And everyone's like, no. And it's like, the guy says, but come on, it's only a small bit of shit. Come on, the most 90% of it's water. It's only a tiny bit of shit. And they're like, no, I'm not taking it. And you have to get that into your mindset is why are we accepting any shit? And I've kind of put my own twist on it by saying that our our lives have been so diluted down, polluted, that we accept bullshit now. We we accept mediocrity. And the, the, the marriage uh, conversation kind of leads into that where I know what I'm about to say to some people will sound crazy and utopian dream and I'm off in some fairy land. But ultimately, when, when two people decide to take that leap of faith and get married and they should be, you know, in that 100 percent and it shouldn't turn to a hellhole where it's toxic and people, you know, are mentally you know the 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 problem should be identified early and everything can be worked on so that's the part that's being lost is that people uh, are are jumping from relationship to relationship the the divorce rates is something like four in every five marriages now end in divorce and uh, i i know this is going to sound crazy because it's it's just what we're used to now and i'm not saying that back in the day that 
I, I think people did take more pride in marriage. It's, it's obviously clear to see. And if you want to point out that maybe some women were, were kept as almost slave-like, you know, kept the, the kitchen sink and that was their place and they were oppressed and they were property. I'm not saying that didn't exist, but I think as a whole, men and women were both more happier in the day and, and marriage was a success and it was beautiful and children were brought up with morals and went on to become better people and, and there's less m mental health issues because of that. It's it's all, you know, spiraling in a better direction, whereas now we're we're you know, littered with all these issues. And I think marriage is a huge issue that could, could solve that. Well, Bob, let me, let me ask, ask this. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reading what someone says over on, on Facebook and I'm not quite understanding what he says. Okay, so um, okay, boss. So let let me ask this. So you say you know back in in, in the day and marriage was great. How do you not how great. do you know that? And 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 no, and, and, and well, I mean, but you know, and marriages work. The reason why I, I'm asking is is this. Mm. About six years ago, my neighbor um, uh, told me he was getting divorced. I was shocked. Then a couple of days later, his wife came over and said they were getting divorced. And I like both of them. I still talk to both of them, you know, whatever. I was shocked. About two months later, another friend of mine told me they were getting divorced. I'm shocked again because here I am. I'm like, wait, well, hold on. I'm thinking these people had these wonderful marriages, whatever, and they're divorced. Five people that year that I knew told me they were getting divorced and they did. From the outside looking in, it was great, but apparently it wasn't. So when you say back in the day, you know, you know, people, people may have stayed married, but how do you know their marriage was a good marriage? You're assuming maybe because the divorce rate was not as much as, as as it is now, but are they staying married because for the children? Are they staying married for for financial reasons? Are they staying married because you know they don't want their parents to know, or you know they don't want to hear it from 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 their family? How do you know that that marriage was good? I mean, the the obvious reason is just what you said, the, the success rates of marriage. And, and I know, I mean- no, I didn't I say the also... success rates of marriage. I'm saying that they may have stayed married, but doesn't mean that their marriage was a successful marriage. Just because they did not get the divorce does not mm -hmm. mean that there were other things going going on. I mean, because even now you you hear of people who have been in marriages where either the husband's beating up the wife or maybe the wife's beating up the kids or 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 whatever you don't know what goes on yeah. behind closed doors yeah but i mean the opposite is the same you don't know that they weren't happy and i mean true, i mean true, I, I, true. Thought about, I thought about true. this as well i would love to have an uh maybe even this is a friendly differences show but i would love to sit with a, a 90 year old woman and and ask how she felt and and i know it's only one person but i genuinely believe like i, I used to have great conversations with my great great grandma she was 97 when she passed and I, even like I, I know this is gonna sound terrible but she was a you know a, a stay-at-home mom she she put three meals on the table she raised the kids and and I never heard her once moan about that because it was it, I know it's kind of frowned upon like gender roles that the, the woman stays home and, and that's not the way in 2022 or whatever but back then women didn't see it that way that this whole uh, but 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 you're but you're thing. but you're but you're assuming you're assuming that you you are assuming that you 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 don't know she you know people may not have moaned and grown and, and grown maybe in front of other people. But you don't know if 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 they went home at night and they were just miserable. You don't know if they well, went to bed at night and they were crying or going to their sister or their mother mm -hmm. or 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 if a man was going to his father, or whomever saying, I cannot stand stand this uh, woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean I'm I'm just saying I think there's a lot of assumptions. 
So, well, what about the the alternatives I, to like you're saying, staying together and and not being happy or leaving that relationship? And and let's face it, the 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 alternative is going through the cycle again and finding someone else again, and then usually five six years later, the same issues arise because that that I mean that's been my 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 cycle. I, I'm not afraid to admit it. Like I've been with four or five women for a lengthy periods of time and I'm only 34 and it's usually about the four or five year mark mark where the the cracks start to appear and I've I've been the type of guy I mean I'm not being cocky or I've, I've I have my faults but I hate splitting up with someone and knowing that I'm, I'm just going to go into the cycle again of meeting someone great for the first year great for the second and it starts to fade and then it's like when that four or five year mark hits the, the same cycles appear so this is why I, I do put the emphasis on on marriage it's not really a passion I'm only talking about it because it's kind of a, appeared on your show a couple of times and you've asked me you know tonight a, a little bit about it but I, I do think that 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 mentality and even right now like I, i'll say i'm married i've been married for four years and i would dread dread being divorced like it would be a real it would i would hate it it would be something that i would live with in, in shame i would hate to tell my grandparents look i'm my my wife and i are, are having to get a divorce my friends i'd be i'd be embarrassed and and that is a good thing I, and no i'm not saying that i would stay with my wife if i was unhappy but if i ever did become unhappy i would talk to her and I would say look we need to sort this we need to solve it because it's, it's driving a wedge it, it, you know counseling there's always that option and and I think people are not choosing to do those things they're not talking they're not even it, it's it's just because there's alternative options there there's always these dating apps to fall back on there's always someone there at the shop giving you a smile and making you feel great when you should be going home and talking to your significant other Okay, I know crazy is is. He, Ooh, she's I'm itching. She's, she's chopping at at at, at the bit bar. I have no idea what she's gonna say, but crazy. All right. <laughs> so I'm about to pick a couple things apart. Um, one thing that you said that right now you feel like there's always an alternative, and I just want to point out that back in the day, there was always an alternative. It just wasn't online. It was a bar, a club, a strip club, a friend's house, a party. So there still was that opportunity. So that was just something that in my head, I was thinking opportunities have always been there. I feel like, I don't know that if people, I don't know that they cherished the sanctity of marriage more or just didn't want to be alone. Or I, I personally feel like the same issues existed, just this different scenario. So yeah, okay, you probably lived on a ranch back, okay, I'll, I'll use my grandparents as an example, okay? Um, my grandparents did not talk to each other at all. They stayed, they lived on a farm. There was nobody, there was no opportunity for either one of them because everybody in that town was related. So there was no opportunity to go outside of that. But that being said, if there had been opportunity, would it have happened? Probably. You see what I'm saying? So like, and, and I'm using them as an, an example back in the day. They got married. They stayed married, but they were miserable. My grandfather said this later in life. He's like, I just stopped talking to her one day and never talked again. I just agreed. Basically, she did whatever she wanted because that's the only way I could live life. But he just did it because he was farmer. He did it or whatever. That was just something that they felt like they had to do. That doesn't mean that they weren't miserable because they were definitely miserable. You know what I mean? And it didn't help any of the children in that situation. They stayed together all that time, but they knew they hated each other. The children were always fighting. I mean, my my family is very dysfunctional, <laughs> super dysfunctional. So like that, um, just to those couple of points. But the other thing, and I wanted to pick pick on you just a little bit, but I don't know you that well, but I'm just going to pick on you for just a second. So you said you have all these great values and all these great beliefs, which I, I'm not knocking you for any of that. That's wonderful believe what you want, but you just said that you have fallen into also a vicious cycle pattern or whatever and whatnot, right? So how come your belief system and your values and your this and that has not saved you from not falling into that pattern? Yeah, I mean, all, all sorts of reasons. Like uh, my, my fault is being too content, maybe lazy to a fault and uh, 
uh, obviously immaturity, you know, when I was younger in my early 20s, I had uh, a four-year relationship and then I went to another four-year relationship and that's, I think that's too young. I, I wish I'd had a father figure that had told me to kind of enjoy myself and, and do some boy stuff and go go boy holidays and, and uh, you know, that kind of thing and then maybe try and settle down at my late 20s, early 30s. Oh, you're wild, though. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so, so I mean, there there are lots of examples, but I mean, I, I'm not going to blow my head off, but I, I think that it's it's. Uh, I would have been the type of guy that would have fallen in love at 15, 16 with the same girl and tried to stay with her my whole life. I was a bit of a, a romantic, a romanticist or whatever it is, but obviously finding that in today's age, especially in my era, with, with again, I, I I do seem to rant on about dating apps and the way that the world is that there's always, it feels like there's always someone that's bigger and better at the end of, of a phone um, and you're always having to compete with that. Whereas I do kind of push back on what you're saying. I'm talking about way, way back. I'm talking about like the early 1900s, probably even like World War II times that men and women were like, I know this is going to be a triggering statement, but like my biggest pet peeve, and I could rant about this shit for, for days, is the women in uh, that I have had on my Facebook. You know, I, I'm from a small town, so it's pretty much everyone knows everyone. And the amount of women that I see typing on their Facebooks uh, on a daily basis is, um, where are all the good men? Where are all the gentlemen? And, and it's like, well, you want a gentleman, you have to act like a lady. And there's, you know, G, GP Man was quite good on this subject on a, on a previous show. And, and I, I kind of side with him on that, where the values, you know, most women, you look at their Instagrams, and I know it sounds as if I'm beating on women, but men are men are like this too. But you look in their Instagrams and it's just selfie after selfie after selfie. All they want to do is go out Friday, Saturday, Sunday night and get drunk. And there's no, you know, core values there, and uh, that's just the way the world is. So when I when I try and find a woman, I, I look at their Instagram, I see if they're, you know, you know what kind of values they have and all that, and and that's becoming harder to find. So, and I, and I'm as I say, I'm not perfect, uh, but you know. So I, so I, my I let, let so let me ask this: so those previous re relationships, do you mm -hmm. think they were a waste of your time? Ooh, that's a question I've never really been asked before. <laughs> uh, Got him. I mean, I mean the, uh, the the old saying is like you you should never have regrets because they teach you things and it and it molds you into the person you have become. But my 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 mind wants to say yes because um, I I think I could have obviously built a a better relationship with one person and you know, being further down the line. And my biggest, you know, you asked a question on, I think it was yesterday's show, Solid, you asked people on your on your panel, uh, what do you want to achieve before you die? And uh, mine was going to be, um, I just want to feel settled. And I know it's, oh, bah, you know, but I, I've always felt that, I, you know, that stereotype of having a, a home and two cars in the driveway and, and a couple of kids and a wife and just being settled and feeling content and I'm now 34 years of age, and I'm I'm still not there. I've I've got the wife ticked off, <laughs> but I don't have the the you know the the home, and and you know we don't even know where we're going to be staying in the next few months, and and all that kind of stuff. So, just to feel content and uh, happy, I would say. I mean, I'm not not happy, but I'm uh, certainly a while off of being content. Okay. I mean, and, and I don't think there's a, because I was in a five year re re relationship that was a complete, total, total waste of my time. Just a waste of my time. And, you know, and sometimes just looking back at it, you know, it's like I still, and this was like, you know, years and years and years, years ago, um, how just, just, just a come, you know, you know, my father even told me, why are you with this person? He is a waste of your time. And he was a total waste of, of my, my time. But I will say this, um, you know, having lived a certain amount of, of years, you know, and I have, I have met a lot of people and I have talked to a lot of people who have been in and out of relationships, people who are single, people who are married, people who have been divorced. And one thing that I have learned 
and this is just from what I've seen. I, I don't know the numbers or anything, so I'm not going to quote any on uh, uh, any data. But it seems like men are more content than women. It seems like that yeah. when people get divorced, that it seems like women will, if a woman tells a man that she wants a divorce, they're usually sur surprised. And I think that men tend to be more content than women. And that's why, you know, when, when I say, um, you know, even when you were saying, you know, back to World War II or the 19, um, um, hundreds, whatever, um, people may have stayed together, but how do you know how happy these people were? Cause a lot of times people stayed together out of necessity. And if staying think, together out of necessity, is that happiness? Is that a waste of, of time? Because cause you know how, how it's kind of been demonized, that whole gender role thing where the woman stayed home. How, how about you put a different spin on it and say that, you know, it was more like a partnership. And I know that's not very romantic to hear. But at the same time, when, when I've always said that uh, when it comes to this subject, that I would happily be a stay-at-home dad and make three meals a day, look after the kids. I know it's not an easy job, I'm not saying that, but I would do it because I think if someone is doing that and you see it more like a partnership and, and there's less room for arguments, a lot of the arguments that people have nowadays are petty, petty bullshit. Like, oh, did you pay the bill? Did you go down the road today and pay the bill? Did you, uh, have you not made any food? No, what have you been up to? If all that's taken care of, there's more time to enjoy each other. And that was more like, I know, uh, like, like I'm the one that's, you know, all airy fairy and try to think of a utopian. But at the same time, we know for the first few years, it's all honeymoon period, but that does die down a little. And then obviously after that, you, you both have to realize that it's, it's more of a partnership. And then even in later life, when you hit 60, 70, when you talk about, uh, is it really worth meeting people again at that age? And it's more about companionship. That's all I'm saying is like when, when, the, when the honeymoon period drops, even in your 20, in your thirties, maybe, that you have to see it as like a partnership working together as a team and getting through life as a team there's nothing more beautiful than that so instead of demonizing it and saying that men but Bob don't you think that you you know I mean I mean I say this I mean I say this because I'm thinking about the the you know, Bob and I did a show uh, two weeks ago where it was just the two of us of, of chat, uh, just the two of us talking. And I'm, Bob, I am going to bring to bring this up because this sounds just like you and this perfect kid that you know that your kid is going to grow up to be this this perfect <laughs> yeah. kid if you just do this this and this and this. And mm -hmm. I have to say, I mean, I believe that people have wonderful marriages. I believe that 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 there are some people out there who their marriages are are just really really good. Are they perfect? No. But one thing that I do think, um, you know. You don't know what's going on in someone's mind. You know, you may think that your significant other is telling you everything and pouring out their heart to you, whatever, but they still have a brain that they can have their own personal thoughts, whatever. And they could just, you know, while you're saying, well, we can talk and we can do this, whatever. How do you know that this person that you're saying, well, if we just sit down and talk and we do this, do this and this, then we can resolve everything. How do you know that, you know, even though you all are talking that, that the other person is happy or well, they're, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that I think that you, that you do live in this utopia <laughs> that, you know, that, you know, that back in the day, everything was great. And now yeah, but, it, but you, it, it, it isn't, but I mean, cause you don't know what's, like I said, you don't know what's going on behind somebody else, somebody else's closed door. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's see, all I'm saying. See that point I made about marriage success rate being like, let's say in the 1940s, it was like uh, one in every five marriages ended in divorce and now it's four in every five. So you, so for you to say that that's not a good marker to, to show that marriage is... Well I'm not saying not. it's not a good marker, Bob. What I'm saying is, did people stay together? W were they really successful well, yeah. marriages? Well, so, okay, well, okay, but like this. Are you saying that it was successful because they did not get divorced? 
or yeah, was it or, or was it successful because these people are like were they truly happy did they stay together out of 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 necessity or well, did they stay together because they truly wanted to be together well that's what i'm trying to say i'm t i'm trying to ask you do you believe then that women or men back in those days were maybe scared or didn't feel that they could get divorced like like because that that basically says that now in 2022 people have have uh, either less care or or they they feel more empowered to get divorced whereas then they weren't and and if that's the case that's a different subject altogether but i, well, I think well that... yes 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 because i think back in the day there were just things you just did not talk about out loud you you there, there were things that you just didn't do i mean i mean you know um um there were things like i mean a divorced woman she was like, "Oh my God, Miss, did you hear yet?" And they're whispering, whatever. Now they don't, they don't do that. There was just certain things that you just did not do. So, do I think that that is possible? That 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 did absolutely yes. So yeah. and crazy, me, me I was... and I, I'm sorry, Bob. I, I know crazy wants wants to get get yeah. in here, but go 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 ahead, Bob. Go go ahead, and, and I know you're you're gonna push, saying, push back what... on me some more. There's a there's a lot of <laughs> there's a there's a there's a big argument to be had about what what was a better way of life and and I know this topic can kind of get a bit heated because it's like almost like especially when it's a man telling a woman no I'm like I'm not heated at all I'm 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 just saying no, no, that, I know, I that, know, you know there's just both you know I, I I'm yeah. I'm just saying that you don't know what goes on behind yeah. closed closed doors because yeah. you know people i i said something to someone the, the 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 other day and they were like really i've known you all this time and i never knew 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 that and i know they did because i don't tell every so, uh, everybody everything so i'm just saying so you I don't ask, know what's going on so can i ask see the gent the the stereotypical gentleman like uh, what was it is it downtown abbey the mr darcy kind of figure is that those those types of men are the men that women of now like think about dream about and why is that because they were gentlemen they dressed well they spoke well they treated the women well and then, i and think then you're, most you're... women dream about that just like most men want to have this this virginal fairy tale woman and i don't think there's anything wrong wrong with that i'm just saying that realistically in real life you don't know what is going on behind closed doors. Again, people can have a great marriage. They can be married for 70 years. I mean, hell, I mean, Rosalind and Jimmy Carty have have, have Jimmy Carter have been married for over for over 70 years. On the outside, they look great. But who knows? Who mm -hmm. who who knows? I mean, I'm I'm just saying. You know, yeah. um, you know, and and you know, living with somebody for a long that's a long ass time to be with with the mm -hmm. same person. So I'm not saying that their marriage is bad, but I'm just saying you you just don't know. You just don't know. So crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is one of those topics you can go around on. But if, if like just me listening to the whole you guys um and everybody does this, okay, I'm not picking on you guys in particular, contradicted yourself in some ways and you know why because nothing is set in stone ever everything has a possibility to be different change or otherwise when i when you said um the one thing that, that i'll say that I, I typed it in the chat so i wouldn't forget it um was that um oops i guess it got pushed up a little bit um you said that everything, I believe you said that everything can be worked on. Like, or you can, tr I, you I don't about, believe that. Are you that, talking to me or you're talking uh, to, to No, Bob. to Boz. So okay. he said something about, you know, that issues can be worked on, but let's go back to case and point your relationships and mine too, okay? Didn't work out because there were things that could not be worked on. It is, you, you, you can come to an impasse. It does not have to be one way or another. Like you, if if you make a valiant effort, right? And you've made that valiant effort and it just, you just come to an impasse. You have to, and this happened to me recently, okay? And it was really tough because it, it's, it's a part of being 
going into something that's out of your comfort zone, being uncomfortable, um, doing certain things or whatever, you know, like I had to make a conscious decision of whether I was going to be willing to keep going and, and, and deal, or if I was going to be like, all right, well, I just got to say that's it. And maybe later on we can work on it, but right now it's an impasse, right? So I don't believe everything can be resolved. I just don't. Um, just like earlier when you said unresolved issues, because one party is unresolved, the other party is not. So like you, you can, it, it, all the core values and all the morals and all the, the whatever beliefs that you have and stuff isn't going to make a situation in real life not be that way. And I don't believe that through the course of history that the changes, I don't believe that people stayed together because they were happy. They probably stayed together because they had to or because of the kids or they didn't have a financial way to to not be in that place or and a lot of that I'm going to say it falls back on the women because women were you know whatever homemakers uh, stay stay at home moms whatever which is fine that's that's what you want to do and more power to you I don't care that's your business um I don't necessarily that think that that made um I don't I don't think any of the changes over the periods of time of all this time from whether it's the 1800s to now has anything to do with people having options versus not options or looking because and I'm going to make a point as to something that you specifically said that people are always looking for something better. If you are not satisfied in your situation and you're looking outside of that for something better then you shouldn't be in that situation because you're making that person feel like they have to compete. You know what I mean? And that's so now you're making them miserable because of that. So, you know, like, I think that everybody has, they've had the same beliefs as you, same core values, same systems. You want it to be that way. You want to be able to, to do that. You want to make, you know, you want that relationship. We all do. I do too. I do too. Okay. But you do have to work at it 100%, but I do believe that there's just some things that you cannot resolve because we're human, we're all different, and sometimes it's just like that, and you change over time too. How do you expect um, someone, in, in more power pe to people that stayed in love for 75 years and they lived together 75 years and they were in love that whole time and they never had a problem? Look, more power to you. I think that's a beautiful thing. I also think it's a beautiful thing when people stay together for 75 years and do work at it. Because love isn't enough. You have to work at everything. You absolutely have to make a valiant effort. I just don't believe that it has anything to do with outside your relationship. And I'm just, in my opinion, which means I shouldn't have been looking outside to begin with. I shouldn't, I, um, that's just, that's just my thoughts on that because I still feel like even back in the day, there were still ways to go outside of that. I'm sure people still cheated on each other. I'm sure people still went outside their marriage. I'm sure all those things still happened. People didn't talk about it. One, because there wasn't social media to post it on for all, everybody to be up on your business. And the other thing is, is people minded their damn business a lot more back then than they do now. But that also resulted in people not getting the help they needed because nobody said anything. They just let it happen. They just let people live so that you're looking you're looking at pros and cons from then to now i don't think that the dynamic of a relationship has changed i think that society maybe morals are a little bit less but are they right you're you're looking based on what you think it might be your statistics on marriage or failed marriages versus successful marriages i don't think that's a a thing personally because um like a successful marriage doesn't mean I and I just have to agree with solid on this is just because they were married all that time doesn't mean it was successful. Someone could have been miserable that whole time thinking they were wasting all those years and they were doing something that you had no clue about anyways. You know, what I'm saying I, I know people that have two families, <laughs> you know, like and they don't know about each other. I don't me I, when I find stuff out like that, I don't mess with people like that because I think that's super shady and disgusting behavior but like that's just a reality and it that that wasn't that was before the time of social media that was before the time of saying that we all have all these options 
but you did have the options because there again there's your neighbors there's strip clubs there's bars there's okay. balloons there's crazy yeah. can i can i interrupt for a moment because yeah, for what her. says is happiness a way of evaluation whether a marriage is successful or not i say death do us part but so okay first of all i have to say that we're winding down i hate to push it to to, to the to the two hour mark but but would you want to be with someone who was unhappy just as long as this till death do us part but see you... this is where i'm laughing because you're you're making out that i'm in some airy fairy uh, utopian but you're trying to say that that it's possible to be happy all the way to 80 90 years of age like no that's no no I, I am i am not 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 saying that I'm, I'm just saying but but like but like crazy said that you can be in a marriage and you're miserable the the entire time and and, and you're saying is well, happiness you and that evaluation but but should you be happy but, some door the marriage should, well, of course, so that's some... why, why would you why would you take that oath with someone but you would how did you know though like, because you, I mean, I'm throwing that out there. Your, you surely you vet your 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 potential life partner. You don't just marry them after a week. Like I know people have done that and it's been a success, <laughs> but like th there's no there's no law against like being dating dating and being engaged for like years and then deciding to go get married. Like like and this oh. is why I, it is a huge problem. And I've hey I've I've ignored red flags plenty of times. I'm a man and I've seen past things that maybe I shouldn't have pursued the relationship because maybe she looks good. And and that's the problem with society. Again, they're 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 overlooking red flags and then four years down the line saying, Oh, I I didn't see that coming and it's like, Well, you kinda did because you, you, you know what his family's like and you know what he, he does when he's with his friends, so you kinda did. But, but it's blinded. Love is blind. <laughs> can can I just throw something out there real quick about this? I just I just yep. wanna um point out something here. I believe, just in my wholehearted opinion, that people can change for the right person. Okay. I don't believe that someone who has I've I'm gonna tell you from personal experience, okay, I have toxic behavior. I have things that I'm extremely self-aware of. That doesn't make it an excuse, but those are things that I have to work on all the time. If you want, if there's somebody that you want to be with, that's why when you said that you look at people's Instagrams and stuff to see, I don't because that's, if you looked at my Instagram, you'd be like, oh man, this, because I throw all kinds of knowledgeable crap out there that I probably either do or don't follow or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or a lot of stuff that I did wrong that, I'm just like, you know, that's me or whatever. A person can change for the right person. So even if you vet a person, right, I'm not saying ignore what you think are red flags or um, triggers or whatever. Keep that in the back of your mind. But if that person truly becomes a part of your life and loves you, they, they have the opportunity. You have to be open minded to this, the opportunity for them to change, for them to work on their own toxic behavior, right? And become the person that you want them to be or they they want to be for you. That's kind of hard to, to describe. But, and I know this because I've done that. You know, I know, I know in my relationships, I know the ones that I did change for and the ones I didn't change for, you know, because it wasn't really something I wanted. It was just something I did because I was lonely. I was feeling a void, whatever the case may be, right? My old toxic stuff, which I don't do that. I haven't, not not in this past relationship, but my one before that taught me a lot of really hard, hard lessons on that. So crazy. I don't mean to interrupt, but we're getting, I'm getting my two no, that's minute, uh, warning. So uh, I'll let Ba have, you'll, I'll let you have the last word and crazy. I will say we are going to be doing, Ba and I are going to be doing a relationship show on friendly differences and girl, you, you better make time to, to, to be on that show. So <laughs> Ba, um, I'm giving you, you the last word. Uh, no, no, I, I've really enjoyed the show. Um, this is a subject we could have probably went on and on about, but uh, I enjoy them. Uh, I think it's something that um, I'm pretty passionate about, even though I'm I'm settled and married now and happily married. <laughs> um, it is a topic that a lot of people, including my friends, um, are all struggling with. 
it's something that because I'm from a small town, I see a lot. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. And I hope, uh, Crazy, you make that show because uh, I've really enjoyed listening to you tonight. And uh, another great show. Thanks, Solid. Okay. So tomorrow, guys, I I, I do have a show posted. Um, uh, but my neighbor and I are working on an arts and crafts for my garden. So hopefully I will make the show tomorrow. If not, I'll, I will cancel it. But I do plan on being here tomorrow. So crazy. Thank you so much for coming up uh, and talking for the majority of the show. Uh, Bob, thank you for popping up. And everybody in the chat, DMAC, you have been very chatty. Um, Juju, thank you for being my admin. And 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 Frankie, thank you. Uh, and Frankie and, and uh, uh, who was that? Power Girl. Thank you for um, the... Uh, the uh, gifts and everyone, thank you so much for the likes. You guys helped me get over to that over that hundred thousand. I appreciate it so much. And um, Angie, Juju, Bob, Power Girl, Crazy Train, Shelby, Jack was here. Um, Alpha Mike was here. Uh, Jester was here. Thank you so much. So on that note, I do hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs> As always, go where the wind takes you. Bye. Crazy, when are your shows? I was seeing it in the chat. Is that Sundays? Oh, so I, I do a really dumb show on Saturday nights. It's really just music, and I'm usually drinking and singing <laughs> karaoke, and it's a lot of just, it's a lot of BS. Me and my old man are usually on, and then like um, just whoever, you know, pops in. You, I think you've come in there before. Yeah, um, I can yeah, tell I you that if you don't mind, uh, I'm, we were supposed to start a show this week, but we're not going to. But Cold Train and Train Records Entertainment is about to start a segment. And it's going to be probably, it was supposed to start tomorrow, probably will be next week or so. Okay. And now that's going to be a serious show. That That's not going to be one of my BS stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. All right. Well, on that note, everybody, enjoy the rest of your day or evening, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> Bye. And thank you. Hey.